Yo, too. What's good, my good people? It's your boy Mo back on the scene, Christine and Queen. I ain't gonna say back like I never left because I left for a little while. But now I'm back here with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about why I left Eagle Transport. But before we get started, you already know the vibes. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, show some love in the comment box. Now let's get into it. I left Eagle Transport. I ain't gonna lie, it wasn't it wasn't really nothing they did to be honest. It was just, you know, I've been working for them for a little bit quite some time, you know, and I felt like I wasn't gonna really grow anymore, you feel me? So I got my experience and it was what it was, you know. They was they wasn't treating me great, but they was treating me decent. I def I couldn't complain about anything, but you know, things could have definitely been way better, you know what I'm saying? And I know there's places out there that's way better. And you know, I wanted, I wanted some time for the family, you know, like that's important. Anything you do, you know, obviously getting money for the family is important, but spending time with your family is more important. You get what I'm saying? So I just got to a point where, you know, I really wasn't spending much time. So, you know, me and, me and my shorty, was, we were talking about something and, you know, we ended up coming to a conclusion where we just throw one of our, our things on, on rent and you know we just take a cross-country trip so right now we actually we got a camper we got a 2019 winnebago and um you know got a truck and right now we you can see where we have right now with it right now we actually in california with it um that's actually what you see right there that's actually arizona so we right on the border and that's the colorado river right there so right now you know we just did a little uh a little two month well a month and a half long uh Cross country trip, you know, we stopped. We ain't, I ain't, we ain't have no desire to stop like in Alabama, Mississippi, you know, that region over there, you know, because we coming from Florida, so we drove straight to Texas. Uh, we spent probably like probably like two and a half weeks in Texas. Or uh, we stopped at Dallas. Or we stopped at Houston for about a couple of days, and we stopped at Dallas for about a week. Well, around Dallas, not in Dallas. Then we stopped at uh, San Antonio, around San Antonio, for, you know, a week as well. And then we drove over to New Mexico. Well, we stopped at El Paso, and then we drove over to New Mexico. You know, obviously, we did some hiking and stuff like that in, in Texas. And uh, in New Mexico, we went to White Sands National Park, which, by the way, I ain't going to lie. If you've never been there, you need to go there. It's, it's fire vibes. I ain't going to lie. It's nice out there. Nice. The sand is definitely white. It's miles and miles of white sand supposedly not supposedly they also like test um the army test missiles somewhere out there because that's how big it is and it is it is just fire i ain't gonna lie it's, it's nice after new mexico we popped out to uh to arizona with it um you know the grand canyon state we did we're gonna do all that and um we was gonna go to utah which we still gonna go out there but we ended up in california right now which we honestly like it out here. This look, this look real nice. We like it out here. Um, so honestly, we just, my shorty, she already got a work from home job and, and I already got a job with Pilot coming up. I already, I'm about to start going through the training and all that here soon. So, you know, we just gonna live out here for a little while, you know? We got a little plane full of that. Oh wow, that's tough. But yeah, I got a job with Pilot coming up. I already did a drug test. I'm about to start training for that. And, uh, in a week or so but well not not in a week or so in a couple of days but yeah everything you know gucci great ain't that in the world you know how to get money it is what it is but yeah you know i ain't gonna lie you need to take the time out and you know just do it we got a camper right now we living out of we're gonna live out of the camper for a little bit you know keep our expenses low we renting out one of our other things and you know it is we just gonna be chilling you know do what it do and we're going to be out in California with it. We're right on the border right there, you know, you see Arizona. So we're going to get that California pay, but have, you know, really no expenses at all. So, you know, you know, this uh, a decision that we came to together with, with something that we felt like was best for us and our family, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's where we at with it, you know. I'll probably be having a little bit different content, like with RB content a little bit, you know. Talking, yeah. But... 
you know everything great you know just keep you know you gotta make you gotta keep moving you gotta keep doing things you know you just can't be complacent doing the same thing every day like you know you really ain't gonna get nowhere you just need to you know switch it up a little bit you know do something different but have calculated stuff you know like you know this was calculated for a little while like i've been thinking about we was actually thinking about uh getting some property but you know at this time right now and every this ain't the best time to be getting property so you know we was just like you know what let's just put that on hold and let's you know let's do something you know that we always wanted to do because a lot of people there's honestly there's a lot of, you see a lot of older people out here and they're just like yeah i wish i was doing it when i was your age you know now they're 60 you know 65 and you know they can't move how you know they want to be moving you know i'm not even saying there's nothing against that but you know they just wish that they would have done it when they was younger and ain't no telling you know if you're gonna even have the opportunity to do it when you get older you know what i'm saying so you know just you know take risk take calculated risk you feel me you don't just do stuff crazy you know without you know taking your calculated risk but yeah take calculated risk and you know it is what it is but if you made it to the end of the video you already know the vibes hit the like button hit the subscribe button show some love in the comment box but most importantly take care